We got a little organic ketchup here. It's almost out. Wait, I should have. Come on, come on. We don't need Let's try them without the. It's feeding time. Feeding time. Brought to you by Feed Me More Nutrition's Shell Shock weight management formula our number one bestseller five-star review $140 worth of ingredients for $34.99 get yours today on Amazon and feedmemore.com feed me more yo welcome to feeding time the big guy Ryback here Sin City Casa de la big guy and today, we're actually doing Pizza Hut, guys, a vegetarian feeding time with a stuffed crust, a large stuffed crust. The veggie lovers, the veggie, I think it's the veggie lovers stuffed crust, large pizza. Take a look at that. This is a hell of a feeding time today. And then I've also got an order of lemon pepper french fries. Lemon pepper fries. Get your little hands off that, Jeffrey. Little B. No cussing here, guys. We're going to really try to keep this. I don't know if you've noticed, the channel has never looked worse. Even those subscribers, 423,000 subscribers, thank you. Um, it, it does not make a difference how high my subscriber count gets, even though that's been completely slowed down. Uh, but but they, are, they are not distributing the videos to a lot of you. So it's uh, I'm actually going to try to open a chat. I've been trying for weeks. It's like 30, 40, 50 people deep every time. I leave it open for hours upon hours, and then it, it never never gets to it. So um, we'll see how it's looking tonight. I know you guys are sick of all that. But uh, thank you for those of you that do watch. Please, keep. I, I stress check every week. Uh, I do videos, the Ryback Show, multiple times a week now. Uh, and, and this feeding time every Monday, 9 a.m., uh, so even if they're not, not alerting you, you can just, you know, swing by the channel and check it out and uh, we'll go from there. So it's feeding time. Just got done doing a big workout. A lot going on. Supposed to fly out here. I got, this is going to be out on Monday. I go to the, the event will have already been done, but I go to Baltimore here. This is Friday night that I'm recording before I, I shower and, and Freaking Jack's flexing the mirror a little bit, beat on my chest, and, uh, and, then, and then go to bed. Um, get up early and fly out to Baltimore for Baltimore Celeb Fest 6. And uh, looking forward to that. And the uh, should be a good time. And this will be out while I'll be home by the time this is out. So the. Uh, Let's just, let's get going. This is a large pizza. I know you're just like, this guy talks a lot on his reviews. This is more of a talking channel. The food's kind of secondary. That's why your channel sucks. Mm. Oh, yeah. Got the olives, onions, green pepper, mushrooms. And then it does have the dairy on this, which I'm sure... The vegans, please, in the comments, tell me how a horrible human being I am. And uh, and I appreciate you commenting on these videos, but none of the vegan videos, the years of vegan videos. So thank you. This is good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm starving. I'm gonna probably try to do a 48 hour fast on this trip. So I gotta eat this. This is actually, I've not had enough to eat today. This is my third meal. I need to do, I'll probably have some air pop popcorn. If I could squeeze that in. I gotta have something else, a little, a little more. I don't know what else I'm gonna have. But this will help, this is a decent amount of calories, but for the fast that I'm gonna go on. But I'm looking really good naked right now. Really good. I'm really happy with the way everything's going.
stuffed crust. Man, I wish I had, I forget, every time I order pizza, I forget to see if they have the, the garlic sauce, that Papa John's garlic sauce. If you guys know me, you know me. So I'd jump, jump in a pool of that stuff. Just have the pizza all around the pool. Dive into the garlic butter sauce and then grab the slice and just... I had a hard workout though. Those man, those stairmasters. They have this. I'll go to this EO, EOS Fitness. It's newer. They got all the new equipment, all the new. I like going there because sometimes they have the newest model of the stairmaster, and I've got a really cool model that the LVAC gyms have here. But that EOS Fitness has like the latest. And they're level 25, ain't like the level 25 on mine. It's more like a level 30, if not even faster. It is a dead sprint. So I do intervals of 15, 20 seconds instead of 30 that I do on the level 25 normally. I think my record I've gotten is like 14 rounds in a, with a 30 second sprint on it with a minute of rest, but using level eight and using my hands, my rest period is active rest. On those, four or five rounds in, six rounds, just shot. Cause it's after my workout too, I did abs on my abs where I was like, man. But I love it cause I'm, like, now I work to get my, even a faster, it, it, but it, it's a straight sprint. It's that, I don't, there ain't nobody else doing that. And that I've ever seen. I'm sure there's somebody watching. Like, I do that all the time. I've done 20. Okay. <sighs> Got a little organic ketchup here. It's almost out. I should have. Come on. Come on. Try them without the. Oh, damn. Those lemon pepper fries are damn good. You don't even need ketchup, really. I, we'll try some of Go. This is gonna be a good meal. I'm hoping this video comes out Monday. With no, there's no uh, holdups with anything. Or we got this. These. I don't even want to say it on here because I don't even know what YouTube, well, flag or not flag. They've been hitting a lot of my videos too with limited ads which further takes away from the revenue. Even on videos with like no cussing, I don't know what's going on. I, I can't, I mean, I do know what's going on, but why it, it just keeps getting worse. But uh, the balloon situation, talk about what, like what's going on. And I always try to sit back and I look at it and go, there's probably a lot of stuff and we don't know about. And clearly, that's probably for our own good sometimes because I wish we could know everything going on. But for people, there's, people freak out, right? And but the trust in our, our government has never been lower, I feel like. At least personally for me, like it's seeing what's going on it's destroying us it's not good and then seeing this it's just like man you can see everything going on 
It's like history just keeps repeating itself. We're never going to let the evil in this world, no matter how much good there is, just ruins it for everyone every time. And now, like, with everything with nukes, it's like, the next one is going to not, like, the next one going to be bad. Like, no, there's no good. It, it, it's... I know a lot of us know that, but I feel like some people don't truly understand just how bad I wish this thing about that I was like, man, wish there was another way to settle differences. Just UFC style combat with countries, but you can't use the leaders because they're they're typically older. Putin would kill everybody, but you have representatives from the country making it a huge event. And these are the issues at hand. Who gets what? And these are just for issues that we can't settle, you know, civilly. And then the country hates the person that loses and they're forced to go live in the other country. Shame. I'll tell you what, though, I'd rather take that than nukes going off everywhere. Watch Terminator. It's not good. You know, you see a thousand different things on if you like look at Twitter. But supposedly there's a second one or a third one, one in Canada, one in Latin America. They're saying, I'm like, wait, I'm flying here tomorrow. I want to know it's okay to fly. Like, where is this thing? Where are they? Are they holding anything of concern? It's scary. Those had to travel a long ways to get here. They were well aware of those. For they had to. There's no way that caught anyone off guard. So then it just makes it just raises a lot of questions, in which they don't answer. If you've noticed. But the Chinese, they've already been caught lying. Saying it just was, the wind blew it off course, but they've found that it, it's, and it's not just a weather balloon. Like they, and it can maneuver, so. Which it's done is it's heading east and it's supposed to be over the Carolinas or the coast of the Carolinas tomorrow. Where the other ones are supposed to be, I don't know. I'm gonna look and check before. Last thing I want to do is go travel across the country and be on the East Coast. And shit's going crazy. You know what I mean? Like that's, I got a rental car. I'm always thinking, you never, hopefully, just, this is nothing, right? But it, it, this is the stress that comes just, like, of course, the one weekend I'm going to go travel, this, this stuff going on. Just one thing after the other with all of it. Just gotta just, you know, I always tried to, I always talked about like never political and try to not follow this stuff because it, we all kind of want the same things. As long as our everyday lives and things are not being impacted, you know, the government and the things they do and it, it's, but when it starts directly affecting everything that's going on in our lives, it's just like, what the hell's going on? That's not a good job in my opinion and impacting in a negative way. So. Those are good stuffed crust pizza. I got the office on in the background. Hell of a show. I never watched it when it was on. I'd seen here and there, but 
I tell you, I'll catch an episode here and there. It is makes me makes me laugh every time. Super Bowl following week, upcoming week when this comes out. I think I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Philly crowd. That New York City crowd, Philly crowd. I don't know if there's probably a good portion of you from there watching, but man, you guys suck. <laughs> Nothing against the Eagles or the players. It's you, the people. <laughs> not, not, there's some good ones, obviously, mixed in, but you got a lot of bad ones out there. Messiest gym I ever been to was Philadelphia. Nice gym. People there just did not take care of it. Weights were everywhere. I'll never forget it. The messiest gym I've seen my entire life. Which represents the people. And also that gym staff, not having a backbone to keep that gym in, in order. If I had a gym, if I have mine, I keep it in order. But like a, a big public gym. We would not tolerate people that don't return their weights. Return your shopping carts, return your weights. I always say make your bed, but that doesn't impact anyone else other than you. Returning your shopping cart and, and racking your weights. You show me someone who does that, you show me a good person. Saw a kid at the gym today. There were a lot of high school kids in there today. The one time that I went. One of them had a water bottle. I was trying to be cool and like throw it by the bench from a distance and it was like partially frozen it looked like. Bottle, it's one of those cheap water bottles, you know, like the Kirkland, it wasn't like, wasn't like a sturdy Aquafina looking bottle. A little flimsy ass bottle. Explodes everywhere, like exploded water. I mean, not by me, but like other people. I go, Jesus, kids over there wiping it all up. He was so embarrassed though. Like, what were you thinking? What was the thought process on that, Ramon? You look like a Ramon. There's a lot going on in our world, though. That Twitter that they found, you guys showed, I talk about it on the podcast, which this has only worked for a couple days, and it seems to already, because they were, if you put your account on private, I got like over 300,000 impressions on my first tweet, as compared to like 1,500 to two, 3,000, with about just under 1.4 million followers. That's the, the platform that they took my voice away the biggest. All these people started responding. That all, the, all positive comments for like two or three days. And then it's come to a halt again because I think they, they they took it away, at least for me. It's not nowhere near what it was on the, for the first two or three days. I was like getting seen a lot. Had multiple posts in the hundreds of thousands. 
couple in the couple hundreds. But that just shows everything I've talked about. They're working on the code. He has some big, that guy's doing a million things. But I'm optimistic that once I told you guys Twitter gets fully fixed and that I can go public and be seen and then go, people can retweet and be seen by new followers. It's only gonna, it's gonna help push the message of what's going on on every platform. I, I stress like, you guys can see it here. I go watch people. If I wasn't posting regularly and stuff like that, that's different. But to grow your subscriber count, like I said, and to do this and to consistently always have content and to be disconnected from it to this degree, you're always gonna have videos that do better than others. But to be just completely disconnected, it's uh, it's tough because it's taken away. This is why I, I, I'm stressing my health so much to get my shoulder right. Is It's taken forever, but like, because I gotta just have options because this is taking away my livelihood with what they're doing. And this is, and they, and like, this is, it was their game plan from the beginning. And I'm just like, it's, they've ramped it up to a level that it never was on everything. It's like TikTok, I told you, they took away everything. Don't make anything there anymore. Boom, wiped it out. This is the lowest it's ever been. No matter, I'm putting out content. And it's like, it's, you guys see the ones that don't get the notifications. And the bad thing about this is that I have to talk about it. Because if you don't, nothing gets done. But it's just like it, it, it sucks to even talk about it. It, doesn't, it shouldn't be. It have to even be done. But I saw that, that the tone that Nick Khan said they think a sale will be done within three months. Or that it, once they find a buyer, if they already have, the process should be pretty quick. So, keeping my eyes on that situation, seeing what's going on. But I'm waiting. I got to get this trademark. The Ryback trademark has to be finalized. That's not done yet. There's a process with all of this. Got to get documentation. Then, okay, we're ready to go on that. And this. I just met a new guy, another shoulder therapist. He's going to start working on it. See if we can get over this last, which we are, but get over this last hurdle that I have with it. We'll be ready. It's just been, I'm sick of talking about it. Like, I'm so over it. I'm, my shoulder's scabbed up all on the back. Literally all scabbed up and bruised from rolling. I, like, take day, I had to take a day off the golf ball. My shoulder was so sore and so bruised from rolling on it so much and breaking up so much tissue. It's like causing trauma. And I'm like, man, I don't give myself any time off. I'm just go, 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 go. And I'm constantly grinding on it. And... I feel like I'm fighting the clock in a way because like, I feel so good everywhere else. I'm like, this is, I've never felt better. I feel I look like the like Ryback. I'm like, let's just got to get this. So I appreciate all the love and support and the, the patient ones out there. And then the ones that don't, I understand. This has been such a long, lengthy journey. You'll hop back on the bandwagon eventually, though. You always do. Son of a gun. Making sure I ate them all. Here on Ryback TV, I, I finished the whole meal for those of you tuning in. A lot of the food reviewers take a bite or two. And they leave their critiques. I eat the whole meal, let you know how I'm feeling. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, you know what I might get tonight? I might do another order. I might order myself. I haven't won since I've had dairy. I might get myself a frosty tonight. I haven't had a chocolate frosty 
in God knows how long. Last time I had one was probably when I did a review here. And before that, it was probably years. And that's already been years ago. Man, time flies. I'm going to get myself a chocolate frosty tonight. You know what? I might not even have my popcorn. I might get myself two chocolate frosties because I got this 48-hour fast. Get some sugar and carbs in me. Knock the hell out. I just choked. You can't snore. You got food in your, going down your throat. Stupid. Me, not you. Done. Logo. All right. The Pizza Hut stuffed crust veggie lovers. Either veggie, yes, I think it was veggie lovers pizza. Outstanding. Outstanding. I love the stuffed crust. It's always been, a, always held a special place in my heart since they came out with that when I was a little guy, little big guy. I'm going to give this pizza tonight. That was, uh, I wish there were, I would have liked a little garlic butter sauce with that, but, but I think they probably might have something there, but like I said, I always forget to get it when I order there. I always associate it with Papa John's. We'll give this a nine, a nine point. 9.7 out of 10. 9.7 out of 10. It was it was delicious. With that. And uh, those lemon pepper fries. Man. I never, I don't even think I've had lemon pepper anything. I've never, because I've seen them. I've never seen people eat them on the lemon pepper wings. And I just never, I'm a, I was always a buffalo, buffalo and Parmesan garlic, garlic Parmesan guy. I'm going to give those, those lemon pepper fries a, a 9 point. Uh, 9.5 out of 10. Those were really good as well. They were still warm. Could have been a little hotter, but they're delivered. There's always, it's not all, the food's going to cool off. They just, I, I know they, I feel like they would have been even better, hotter. But I don't know. I can't get, get it a higher score. And it's a really good score still. So, that's that, guys. There's another another feeding time. I thank you, as always, for your time. And, uh, you know, throw me on the big screen with the family. You know, have a meal with the big guy. Check out my Feed Me More Nutrition, please. FeedMeMore.com. Premium supplement sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. No harmful artificial sweeteners or colors. Vegan friendly for all people, men and women. He, she, and me on FeedMeMore.com. Returning customers can save 20% with discount code FeedMe20, FeedMe20. Returning or new customers can save 30% for first time buyers. Discount code Ryback30, Ryback30. And you guys all get the free one, two, three muscle joint tendon formula support as a free gift, a $44.99 value. Absolutely free. Just add it when it pops up on the screen. But check out, guys, we have all the best supplements our Shell Shock Weight Management Formula, the video. It's always in the intro. That's our best seller. That, that's on Amazon. We have several of the products to wake up on Amazon. The Finish at BCAA is on Amazon. And I believe the Brain Feed, I think that was still on Amazon. Uh, we'll have to see if we can get everything listed on there with the people because there's different requirements with certain testing. And we're, we're seeing, we, so we put the best sellers on there on that. So check that out, guys. And, uh, but the discounts are all for feedmemore.com. And uh, thank you as always. Until we feed again, stay hungry. Feed me more. Hey Ryback, right don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and shell shock those notifications for the best supplements on the planet with Feed Me More Nutrition and all the latest cool new Ryback right merch. Visit FeedMeMobile.com.